Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Chase Race number nine here at Sonoma for the Mountain Dew Code Red 350K. We are here for 20 laps of racing. Pit stops, just one. Um, on the front row, we got Michael Beeson and Karen Vieira, who hasn't won since the first race of the season at Daytona. Unknown whether she will be racing full time next season. As some of you might have noticed, Sam Rogers, he's not in the race tonight, but he did clinch the part-timers championship, so on part of winning a, a cup race at Road America, the 100th race of the season, and winning the part-timers championship, all eyes eyes are going to be on him when he um, heads front row motorsports next season, driving the number 38 Ford. Back to tonight's race in row two, Jim Morton has won the last two races here, very close battles with teammate owner Zachary Rogers. Um, Cody Russell starting fourth. We noticed he had a very bad race last week at Atlanta. And um, a lot of, about three or four drivers have now sewn back in on him. And we actually have six drivers that are within the 47 point mark. So it'll be interesting to see how today goes to see who will be in contention at Armory Digital. Nathan Rogers and James Moore in row three. Nico Tringali, Henrietta Fitzwater, row four. Allison Rogers, Michael Motto, row five. Then we got Chasers, Nolan Berger on 11th. Zachary Rogers, 12th. Michael Parker, 14th. Austin Alves, 15th. Benjamin Tilton, 16th. Peggy Bullen, 17th. Michael Santos, 23rd. Logan Scott, 27th. Greg Lyons, 28th. Um, Michael Neal, 34th. John Lanier, 35th. Peter Sands, 38th, Kevin Arrow, 39th, and Dion, 42nd. Dion has not had good qualifying runs here in the chase. The command has been given to fire the engines. We will get you to the green flag. Timers race, we didn't go back to show replays, but it's the cup race. We're going to go back to show replays. So if people do wreck a lot here at coming through the first turn, we will jump after the first lap to go through the replays of the lap one carnage green flag is out the mountain two 350k is on the way as they come into the turns there's Beeson bumping and banging Karen Vieira gets into him they're gonna slide off Karen Vieira Michael Beeson Karen Vieira is done and that is the only major carnage Going through the first turn, Cody Russell in the race lead. James Morton battling his father, Jim. Frank Hopkins and Adam Rogers slowed up a bit there. Here we go through the big part of the track. Cody Russell in the lead, James Morton second. And everybody getting through this part of the track. Okay, that's a surprise. A single file. James Morton, Jim Morton, bailing in it out for second place. Karen Vieira done. Oh, Mason Jefferson, what happened there? Stuck in the tire barriers. And as lap one ends, uh, let's take a look and see what happened to Mason Jefferson. So here we go. They're coming through the second to last turn. It looks like... um. Oh, Vanoss is already in the bumper of the 56, and she's just going to turn him right. Oh, man. Right into the tire barriers there, and that's going to end Mason Jefferson's day. He had won the cup race, so let's get you back to live action now. Back to racing as Cody Russell and James Morton go way off track. Jim Morton to the lead. 
And we talked about Jim Morton's ownage of this track as Cody Russell falling back to third. If we can see where James Morton ended up. There is the five. He is not that far back. So Cody Russell th falls to third. James Morton to fourth at the moment. Jim Morton leading. Watching very closely here. Cindy Vieira with a slide job in front of the 69. Everybody seeming to do pretty okay here, though. Every turn can be dangerous at this track. As chasers all over the board are fighting for position. Jim Morton, Nathan Rogers, battle for the lead. Morton gets up on the curb, and he is way off into the dirt. Cody Russell off into the dirt again. Brought Nathan Rogers into the lead. Morton stays second. Cody Russell falling back some more. Sean Galligan slowly working his way through the field. We know he's a very good road course driver. But Jim and James Morton. James Morton still looking for his first career win. He could get lucky get it here today. Nathan Rogers way off into the dirt. Jim Morton does the same. Oh, Jim Morton comes back on track into his son. Michael Parker. Oh, Cody Russell. Cody Russell spun off track. And his bad luck's going to continue here at Sonoma. Wonder what happened there, and he's going to pit row. Let's see what happened to the 78 car. Talk about this turn. This turn can always be dangerous. Looks like Michael Parker got a bit too far up in the dirt, and he comes right back up. And they will slide into the wall. Parker getting damaged. Cody Russell getting back in damage. Tough break for Cody Russell. He was running very up front, and this is going to make it interesting because depending where he finishes... The whole chase could be really tightened up again. So let's get you back to live action. Back live. James Morton getting pushed off into the dirt. Zachary Rogers doing a good job so far here today. Three wide up here though. As you know, you got to watch every turn. Michael Parker on pit road as we noticed him getting involved in that wreck. Greg Lyons now goes off into the dirt. He'll lose some spots there. Everybody's chasing Nathan Rogers at the moment. Oh, he gets way off. He'll go away in the dirt this time. Jim Morton seals it pretty good. Nico Tringali with a great move. They're going to gain a lot of ground as Nico Tringali is looking for second. Nobody went off the turn of doom over there. Oh, Austin Alves in the pit road. Don't know if this is strategy or if he got some damage from something. Michael Parker coming back out on track. This could be a dangerous spot. He got into Jim Morton. Jim Morton goes way up the track. Michael Parker got into Jim Morton. And that is going to end Jim Morton's hope of a three-peat. Tough break for the 23. We mentioned how pit road can be difficult. Oh, Benjamin Tilton has damage. What happened to him? Here's what happened between happened to Austin House. He getting in the dirt, and he goes right into the 11 of Tilton. And Tilton just is going to slam the wall there. Oh, man, that's a tough hit for Benjamin Tilton. So Benjamin Tilton's chase... Championship hopes could be up in flames here as his day's done here at Sonoma. More trouble. Micah Kidney gets it loose here. He dived in too hard. He jumps it too much and he will lose it and slide into the wall. So his day's done and Lions had done the same thing as he slides into him. And that's this is live action right here. So, uh, Lions is going to slide into him, and we'll get you back to live action here right now.
So Lions will try to get through that turn there. As we head back to the leaders, Nathan Rogers still out front. Zachary Rogers went way off into the dirt. And really, it's all about how you nail the turn, right? That turn there, exiting. There's Parker, there's Jim Morton. Nathan Rogers. Austin Alves coming out of pit road. Nathan Rogers right there. No problems there. Nico Tringali will be looking here, though. Oh, Nathan Rogers way off track. Austin Alves will go by. And the race for the lead is on. Jim Morton will end his day. Greg Lyons coming into pit. As they've kind of split the group in half here. But now Nathan Rogers getting pressure from Nico Tringali. James Morton, Allison Rogers battling together for third. They will get into each other and they will wreck Allison Rogers and James Morton. Their days could very well be done here. It looks like everybody else is good. Oh, wait, Sean Galgan, Beeson getting into it. Remember, Beeson got the pole. Allison Rogers into the pits. James Morton into the pits. Nathan Rogers leading Nico Tringali behind in second. Nico Tringali just has to make sure he doesn't wreck. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he could be looking at a championship lead. Or actually not really because the, the points will be reset for those that are in contention. He could be looking at a good shot at another championship here. Nico Tringali looking to maybe be the first two-time champion. It's the field spread out, and now John Lanier has got into the wall, and he will be done. We're losing drivers left and right everywhere on this racetrack. Alves gets into the dirt. This could hold up. Nathan Rogers. Oh, he gets into Nathan Rogers there. Nico Trinkelli's going to get a good run there. Some drivers that started in the back getting lucky. There goes Greg Lyons. James Morin will come back out onto the track. Unknown if the 51 will or not. But Nathan Rogers, Tringali still battling. Henrietta Fitzwater won last week at Atlanta. Closing in on these guys. Nathan Rogers trying to get by Austin Owls, and he'll look here into the 90 degree turn. As you've noticed, cars lose out of the race, and that has allowed Cavanero, who started way in the back up to 23rd. The drivers up here still battling very well. Austin Alves got in the dirt. Ooh, almost coming up into Nico Tringali. As these two still race for the lead. Austin Alves coming in the pit road as they hit James Morton. Nathan Rogers looking to pass him. There are your drivers out of the race. James Morton going a lap down here. Henrietta Fitzwater getting into the dirt there. Zachary Rogers running in fourth, doing a good job. There's another chaser doing good. Beeson on pit road. Callaghan on pit road. And Frank Hopkins on pit road, too. Looks like these two got into the wall there. Their back ends are pretty mashed up. Carol Morton, the only Morton left in the top 10. James Morton getting way into the dirt there. Teammates here, Michael Amato, Scott Greeny, Logan Scott, all pretty much t running the same um, position here.
Uh, Sean Galgan is going to make his way out of pit road. We'll have to see where he um, connects on some drivers here. And here he comes. He's coming out of pit road. Oh, he got it to Logan Scott, but Logan Scott doesn't wreck. But Galligan did go around now. Logan Scott way off into the dirt, but he will save it, but he will lose a couple spots. Now Hendricks running up pretty much. Yeah. Ooh, Steve Cavallo way off track here. Man, they're crazy racing back here. But Nathan Rogers still leading Nico Tringali behind him. It's Carol Morton. Henrietta Fitzwater trying to get by James Morton. Nathan Rogers making his pit stop. Pit stops are be going beginning. So Nico Tringali will take the race lead for the moment. Austin Alves still on pit road. Logan York coming in. Ryan Shea. So Nico Tringali leading. And Henrietta Fitzwater and Carol Morton battling for second place here. Zachary Rogers setting in fourth. Just waiting for the right moment to pounce. The pole position pit box is always the worst to get. But in this case, the people that got the front row are not racing as you can see there's Nathan Rogers pit box and they tend to do that it seems they can halt on the pit road car there Nico Tringali in the lead let's see anybody James Morton way off track looks like everybody's single file though here we go who's coming in the pit this time Nico Tringali was coming in everybody coming in here Looks like everybody's coming in. Let's take it up to the front. Ooh, Austin Al's coming out. Oh, Peyton Goodwin and Ryan Shea got together. Let's see what happened to these two. It's a classic case of coming out of pit road. And Peyton Goodwin just nowhere to go. It's just going to slam right in the back of the 15. And then it looks like Shea just couldn't save his car here. He's just going to cut the dirt way too much. And he loses grip. And he'll slide right into the wall and his day will end. Tough break for Ryan Shea and Peyton Goodwin. Let's get you back to the pit stops. So we're back here as we're going to watch people come around. There goes Frank Hopkins. Everybody making their pit stops. There's Nathan Rogers. Nico Tringali making his way out of pit road. Nathan Rogers is right there. Woo, boy. So Nathan Rogers leading Nico Tringali right behind him in second. Oh, Logan York almost got into Peggy Bowling. Michael Parker keeping his distance there. So far, so good for a lot of people here. Greg Lyons, Austin Alves coming around. Cavanero. Looks like everybody will be good. So after everybody has cycled through, Nathan Rogers still leads the race with nine laps to go. Nathan Rogers could be looking for his second career victory. Nico Tringali, I believe, is looking for his sixth win. Second on the season. Henrietta Fitzwater, Carol Morton battling for third place. Zachary Rogers in fifth. Tony Vieira sixth. Seventh is Peggy Bowling. Eighth, Cindy Vieira. Ninth, Chris Washer. And rounding out the top ten is Kate Rogers. Then Nolan Bergeron is eleventh. Michael Santos thirteenth. 
15th, Michael Naylor. 19th is Peter Sands. 21st, Benjamin Dion. 22nd, Greg Lyons. 25th is Kevin Arrow. Oh, Logan Scott with damage. And Michael Parker looks like they might have gotten into it. Allison Rogers running here in the back of the lead lap. Ooh, Scott Greeny has retired. Nathan Rogers, though, leading the way, coming to seven to go. And he'll have to slow up for Allison Rogers as his teammate and younger sister. And he is having to hold up, and this is going to allow the 44 to close right on in. Oh, Nico Tringali overdrove the turn and goes in the dirt. Carol Morin is in third. Tony Vieira up to fifth now. Logan Scott coming out of the pits. Nobody's going to hit him. Greg Lyons in pit road now. Nathan Rogers gets by Allison Rogers, but now Nico Tringali has lost a lot of ground after he went in the dirt. And this is Nathan Rogers' race to lose here. As Cody Russell looks like he's going to finish outside the top 25. Carol Morin gets way in the dirt. She might lose third place here. Oh, gets into the 31 of Henrietta Fitzwater. Two Chevrolets racing for third here. Carol Morin will give it up for now. Nico Tringali trying to get by the 51 car. Nathan Rogers overdrives the turn. He gets in the dirt. Henrietta Fitzwater is going to overdrive it. She'll get in the dirt. Carol Morton back up the third. Six laps to go. Tony Vieira, uh, Zachary Rogers passes him back for fifth. Austin Owls running back here a lap down. Stephanie Manasa on pit road now. Nathan Rogers overdrives the turn. He'll get in the dirt. Nico Tringali a little bit, but not as much as the 89 car. As these are the only major battles up here. As Carol Morton is now driving, driving away from the 31. Five laps to go at the line for Nathan Rogers. And let's see how much the differential is down to two seconds only. And Nathan Rogers drove that turn hard, but he'll keep it clean. Nico Tringali gets in the dirt a little bit more than he does. Now Zachary Rogers gets the bump and run from stepfather Tony Vieira. So he will fall back to sixth. Racing for 7th, Cindy Vieira and Peggy Bowling. is a battle for ninth. A couple of drivers here going way off track into the dirt. Cody Russell running in 28th. As the drivers continue the race here, we're coming to the close of this one. Four laps to go at the line. As Nathan Rogers continuing the lead with a 2.6 second lead over Nico Tringali. Carol Morton third, Henrietta Fitzwater fourth. Tony Vieira fifth, Zachary Rogers sixth. Cindy Vieira seventh, Kate Rogers eighth, Chris Washer ninth. Bergeron 10th. Somebody, something happened to somebody. Peggy Bowling went to pit road. Yep, Peggy Bowling in the pits. And she'll have to give up a good spot finish there.
Drivers back here having a difficult time getting by Allison Rogers. Henrietta Fitzwater gets into her. Peggy Bowling was out and away. Back to 25th now, it seems. Three laps to go for Nathan Rogers. Cody Russell getting way off into the dirt there. Zachary Rogers got by the 51 very easily. He's looking to maybe get fourth today. As Tony Vieira is getting held up by the 51. It's certainly been an interesting race. Benjamin Dion has thrown down the fastest lap time. Sean Galligan back in pit road. Just a splash and go. As Cody Russell getting caught by leader Nathan Rogers now. Cody Russell, this is not what he wanted to have at all. Two bad weeks in a row. Two laps to go for the 89 car. And Sean Galligan. We're going to watch the 64 car here. See if any top 10 drivers might get. Wrecked here. Here he comes out of pit road. Nope, he will come in between the 0 and the 22. And Zachary Rogers has gone by Henrietta Fitzwater for fourth place. He's throwing down some pretty good lap times here late in the running. Nathan Rogers getting by the 78 of Cody Russell. It'll be very interesting to see who is in the running. You'll see the standings first of if we did not do the resetting of the points of drivers in con contention. And then you'll see the points after the resetting. Should be a good race. I think this year we're going to have more than four contenders. As it had looked like at first, Cody Russell was running away. But after a bad week at Atlanta and now another bad week here at Sonoma, that it's not going to be that way. One more lap to go. Sponsor of Sh Sharpie is going to be sponsoring Cody Russell when he makes his move over to Chip Ganassi next year. He'll be driving the one, so he will have Sharpie on board still. As everybody is making their rounds around for the last time. Nathan Rogers pretty much won this race. No major battles going on here at all. So it should be interesting to see. After Nathan Rogers here, he'll get his second career victory. First on a road course. Be interesting to see how Armory Digital will be um, next week. And that will be the Axe Polo 500 for the second straight year. Um, Adam Rogers won that race last season. Coming through the final turn. It's been a tough season for the 89 team. They've done terrible, absolutely terrible. But now they're going to get a win. Nathan Rogers wins the Mountain Dew Code Red 350K. Nico Tringali will finish second. Carol Morton third. Zachary Rogers fourth. Henrietta Fitzwater fifth. Tony Vieira sixth. Cindy Vieira seventh. Chris Walsher eighth. Kate Rogers ninth. And Nolan Bergeron tenth. As we watch the rest of the field coming through to the pit road. And with that, the race is over. We will see you guys at Armory Digital. Here come your official race results. Point standings before the reset and after the reset. So we'll see you guys at Armory Digital. <laughs>